everybody is doing well. In today's video, I wanted to do my handbag collection for 2020. And I wanted to do this because one, I thought it would be fun to see what I end up with for one year and then do it again next year and see how my collection has changed. Um, as per usual, I do like to watch these videos so much. Like this is what I've been clicking on lately is um, everybody's handbag collection. I think it's so fun to see. So I decided to do it myself and let's get started. So let's start with in no particular order. I'm just going to grab whatever I see in front of me first. So here I have my Prada Re-Edition 2005 in nylon. And this one does come with the silver chain. I have removed it at the moment, but um, this is one of my favorite bags of 2020. I have carried this so much just because it is so easy to carry, so, so easy and effortless. You just um, wrap it around like a crossbody and it is so functional. So I have been using this a lot lately. I won't be going too much in detail about the bag, um, just because it's just a what's in my collection video, not much of a review, but um, this is pretty much it for the bag. There's no interior pocket, and mine is in the nylon, like I said, with the silver hardware. I do know that this comes in leather with gold hardware, which is pretty nice as well. So let's move on with the next one. So this is my Locky BB by Louis Vuitton and I have mine in the monogram and black. They do come in different colors. And here is my strap. This is the strap that I do put on my Felici Pochette. Um, someone did ask me that. Uh, this is the one I like to wear on that one when I do not want to wear the chain. But this bag is super cute and it has a microfiber interior lining. I have ordered some Morga organizers for some of these bags, which I will let you know which ones they are that I've ordered the organizers for. And I will be doing a video when those organizers come in. But this is one of them that I, or oh, that I ordered an organizer for. And... Um, I do love some Morga organizers and I do have a coupon code for you guys and it is 20% off and the code is Stephanie underscore SN and I will be leaving it down here for you um, if you would like to save some money on your some Morga organizers. I will not be making anything off of this code. This is just for you guys. I wanted to give you guys something back for being such loyal subscribers and such awesome friends because I do consider you guys my friends. We do chat in the uh, comments down below. So I wanted to give something back to you and Samorga was kind enough to give me that coupon code. So I was super happy for that. Uh, so this bag is one of my bags in 2020 collection. I have carried this bag a bit this year, but not as much. And the reason is because I'm scared to scratch this big lock here in front. I have not removed the protective cover that came with the bag just yet. Um, I did buy, um, I think they changed their name. They were Handbag Haven. I don't know what they are now, but I'm sure they changed their name. But I did purchase the um, protective cover for this bag and I have not put it on yet. Just because I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this bag or not. I really like it. I just haven't worn it as much. So let's move on to the next bag. And same thing with this bag. This is my Felici Pochette and it's by Louis Vuitton as well. It's in the black or noir en prompt leather and it does come with these two inserts as we all know. My chain is yep, it's in here. But this is the one that I was telling you guys that I switched the chain out for. So I don't use the chain a lot of times and I will use the strap that comes with the Locky BB just because I want a more casual vibe. I will use that and when I want to dress it up a little more, I will use the chain. Uh, this is another bag that I did um, order an, a Samorga organizer for and um, I should receive those in a few more weeks. They do take a little bit longer because they are custom made to order and they are from Korea. They are actually the original, do you guys hear me? The original 
um, inventors uh, felt organizers for bags, so all the rest of them came after Samorga. And um, I've always used them, all of my organizers are from them, and they are just quite amazing. But I did order uh, an organizer for this bag, and I have carried this bag somewhat this year. It's been like a grab and go bag until I bought my Prada bag. So the Prada went ahead and replaced this bag for me. Um, so I don't know, I like it, but I've, I've been trying to think about downsizing my collection, not that it's big whatsoever, but I don't use a lot of them. And um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you more about that as we go on. But let's move on with the next one. YSL Toy Lulu, and this is in the color Dark Latte. I love this bag. I love the color of it, and this is the way I keep it stored. It's just with some paper, and my strap goes inside. Um, and I still have everything from this bag, my tag, my authenticity card. I keep here in the center. I love this bag because it's such a transitional bag. It's a really, really good transitional bag for when it was fall. Uh, it's such a cute color. It's got a magnetic closure. It's super soft and plushy. It is um, just super comfortable to carry just because I like, as you can see by, this, um, by these bags that I've shown you so far, I like smaller bags and I think that's because, you know, I've had kids and been through that and I've had to carry those big diaper bags um, or after the diaper bag stage I would still have to carry big bags to carry their toys and all that stuff so I'm not that much into larger bags anymore. I do have a few which we will go through but I like these smaller, not micro bags, but just those smaller bags. So this one is another one that I love, and this one is the YSL Toy Lulu. One right here is a newer purchase for me. I just did this unboxing um, of this bag, and this is actually a Dior bag from the men's section, and I believe they call it the shoulder pouch. So if you are interested in this bag, it is in the men's collection. So it is of the Dior Oblique print with a soft material. This is not leather, this is like cloth. I don't know what you call this material, sorry. But it does have the Dior um, logo right there in silver. All of the hardware is silver. And it comes with this black detachable and adjustable strap. And I just wanted this kind of like a crossbody pouch. And I'll show you what I mean. I just wanted it to kind of fall right here in the front and carry it like that. Um, if I find a picture of me wearing it, I will insert it for you so that you get a better idea of how it looks. I did buy it with my um, oblique sneakers also from the Men Connection just because I like the way that they went together. Um, and this is a super practical bag just to grab and go. It has um, card slots in here, kind of like a wallet on chain type situation. So I really like this one. And the zippers are just so, so smooth as butter. I really like it for that as well. So here is another bag. And let's move on to another one. Grabbing a different type of bag. So this is my Louis Vuitton Graceful PM. And I have mine with the Rose Ballerine interior with the Damier Azure. And this is just how I keep it. Uh, stuffed with my Samorga organizer and um, I still have another few things in there but I love this bag and this is actually my only print this is actually my only item with the Louis Vuitton Damier Azor print I love this print I don't know why it's my only bag but um, I love to carry this in the summer and spring it's just a super comfortable bag and I really, really love it. I have mine stamped with my initials there. And I I, can't, I don't know what other good things I can say about this bag, but I just love it. I have nothing bad to say about it. And this is, I don't know what bag number I'm in. Um, I guess we're not gonna keep track because I can't remember, but that's this bag. Super cute. No feet, super slouchy, and very comfortable. All right, moving on. And this is my Louis Vuitton Pachette Matisse. 
needs no introduction. Everybody knows about this bag and mine, guys, I have not used. Still, I have not used this bag. I used it one time. I believe I took a picture with it and it was like a quick outing and I came back in. So I basically have not used this bag. Um, it's still brand new and the strap is inside and the uh, protective covers is still on this bag because I, like I said, have not used it, but it's in my collection. So I had to mention it. This is probably one that will be uh, leaving my household. I probably will sell it to Fashion File. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know, guys, but I probably will sell this one just because I haven't used it. Like, maybe if I use it, I will love it and keep it, but since I haven't even grabbed it um, due to what's going on in the world, uh, we're not going out as much, and I think that that's why I haven't really grabbed this bag. But yeah, I had to mention it because I still own it. So there's that. Another YSL bag. I actually um, introduced YSL to my collection this year and I started with the Toy Lulu bag and this small Lulu bag in the black on black and I really like this bag. It is another comfortable bag to carry and it's just beautiful and um, the interior looks like that and I have used this bag a bit this year so I'm happy about that the strap length is perfect for my size to carry crossbody um, and I am five five and a half if you're interested and I just feel like it's a very good bag and it's actually I think it's more on the um, affordable side of luxury um, it's I believe this bag is about two thousand US dollars um, and of course don't get me wrong that is still very expensive for a handbag but um, for it being leather and so soft the way it is I feel like it is a very good priced bag so this is my YSL small Lulu beautiful bag on. This is my Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier in the 25 size and of course as you can see mine is in the Damir Abain and it is currently stuffed with a lot of stuff in there right now. I have an organizer in there and it's chain. Um, I do love this bag. I, I did use it at the beginning of 2020 a lot because it was so comfortable to use for work. I carry a lot of my essentials in here and absolutely everything, everything that I need fits in this bag and it is very comfortable due to the size. I think it's so comfortable to wear crossbody um, because it's not so large. Um, the only thing is that this is a little bit narrow of an opening, but it's not very much of an issue for me at all. Um, I do not mind it at all, but I cannot find anything else or anything bad to say about this bag. Other than I feel that the hardware hasn't lasted very long. I did get this bag in 2020. Um, it's, not a, it's not even a year old, this bag, I don't think. So... For that being said, the hardware is pretty scratched. And I just I just feel like that's the way. I'm gonna try and move this up closer to see if that can focus and you can see what I'm talking about with the hardware. It's just chipped at some places um, and for mostly being stored, I don't feel like that should be the case. Um, the buttons are rusty a little bit, but I mean, what can we say? That's that's what happens. These things don't last forever, but I do wish it lasted longer. But yeah, that is this beautiful speedy bandolier 25. All right, moving on with some more Louis Vuitton. Palm Springs Mini. Now this is a very much loved bag for me. Uh, I did get it this year. Actually, all of these bags I got this year because I started my luxury collection um, this year. 
So all these bags are brand new, not brand new, but I got them this past 2020. So this is one of them and this bag guys, I absolutely adore. It is wonderful to carry, it is very comfortable and it is just a grab and go bag like most of my bags are. Um, the straps are in here. They do come with two straps so that you can carry as a backpack and the zipper is just super comfortable to use and I just, I mean, I just love this bag. So here is my Palm Springs Mini. I only have one strap on it because I like to carry it. Most of my bags I like carrying <laughs> crossbody. So this is how I carry this bag. I'll have this on the front like that or you can actually adjust it to carrying it from here and here and just carry it kind of like a bag and I do that sometimes as well. So that is that guys. My Palm Springs Mini with, um, well it always comes with the black Macassar leather so there's that. And let's go on with YSL. And this one is my YSL little pouch that I raved about in um, a, a while ago, <laughs> a few videos ago, I raved about this pouch because it was so easy to carry and it still is. Uh, lots can fit in this little pouch, so I really, really enjoy it. It is very useful. It has card slots in there. If you can see, it's super dark. It has a, a, a few card slots that you can use for a, a wallet and just carry a few things in there and it's super beautiful. The leather is very soft and the hardware has held up very, very nicely. I just wrap it around my wrist and carry it like that. Super, super easy. And I think that we have gotten to my final bag. <laughs> and my final bag is this Louis Vuitton on the go in the MM size, so the smaller of the two sizes, the MM. And guys, I, I've used this bag at the beginning as well for work. It is a very comfortable work bag. Um, inside I have my Samorga organizer and I have just a few other things. I have the bandolier strap for the Speedy B. Um, so I haven't used this bag since I stopped working. So. Um, even though I still love it and definitely am keeping this beautiful bag because it's just so beautiful and I do not have any more totes but this one so definitely I am keeping this I love it it's just gorgeous it's just a beautiful just to look at I feel like it's so pretty um, the bottom of the bag looks like that look how beautiful that stitching is how they've managed to put everything together just so perfectly, which they should because these are not cheap bags. But yeah, um, I just I just love this. Love, 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 love this bag. I'm going to leave that bag there so you can look at it because it's just so pretty. And let me tell you about what I'm thinking about doing for this year. Um, so my Chanel 19 bag is definitely not in here because I did purchase this uh, bag a few days ago in 2021 so it doesn't belong in my 2020 collection um, but I oh my god guys what have I done I am absolutely head over heels for that bag and that is crazy to say but you guys are here you guys know me probably the same way with um, luxury and things like that and we love our bags don't we so you guys understand me and I'm glad I'm able to talk to you guys because like I said we're all friends here and I love chatting with you in the comments below so um, I don't feel weird saying that I'm head over heels for that bag and just the quality of it guys I never understood what the hype was like oh my gosh Chanel 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 oh my gosh no I, I love it and I want more so I was thinking about removing the bags that I am not using and they're just like you know sitting on my shelf and probably purchasing some more bags so I don't have the clutter of, of having all the bags because I know a lot of people do collect bags which is awesome but I don't I don't collect bags I just keep the ones that I'm actually going to use so definitely my Chanel 19. That bag is not going anywhere for right now um, unless, I don't know, something happens, but I doubt it. 
So that bag is not going anywhere and I do want to uh, acquire some more Chanel bags. So I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I want to go ahead and try that out and see how much I like the other bags. Like I still need to get my wallet on chain. I haven't gotten that. And um, I do also want some classic bags, like maybe a medium classic flap or um, I don't know. I don't know. I will let you know as soon as I know something. So guys, that is the end of today's video. If you stuck around this far, thank you so much. And if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I really do appreciate that. I will also be leaving you my Instagram accounts. So I have my personal account here, which I just do more family things, more with my kids, my husband. Um, so follow me there if you want to see more of that. And I also started my luxury uh, Instagram, so I will leave that handle down here as well for you. If you'd like to follow me there, I will be posting more pictures on there about luxury and all the stuff that we all love. So follow me on there, and I will also be leaving you another video or two so that you can continue watching me there if you still wish to do so. Um, I do thank you so much for watching. Please let's never ever forget to be kind to one another. That is so important, so important for the world. And um, let's never forget to be grateful and thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.